Hi and welcome back to the first series of our training videos. Okay, so we're now going to look at our fourth video which will be suppliers. So again, we're still under the settings, so up in the top right hand corner, settings, and click on suppliers. Okay, so depending on what country you've chosen, you'll see, you should see a list of suppliers. Currently we do have Australian and New Zealand and UK suppliers. If you're from another country, you may just have to add your own. So first of all, um, if you're one of these countries, Australia, New Zealand, UK, you will see a list of all your suppliers and you simply just tick which suppliers you use and then click save for those to take effect. Second part of this is to also you can click on a particular supplier and you can create um, some details, for instance, put their website in, um, an email, this email could be a particular rep that you want your purchase orders to go to, your account number details. The rest is pretty straightforward where you can put their phone address details. Um, pricing. Pricing means you can adjust the prices that come from your supplier. So for instance, say one of your supplier was from the, on the other side of the country and you got extra freight. You might want to mark up all their costs by an extra, say, 2% just to cover that extra bit of freight that you get. You can all, you could also, if you perhaps get a discount from the suppliers, mark it down by the, the discount you may receive. Generally I'd say if you do get a discount from your suppliers, not to mark it down and to just mark up um, on the cost that they set. Uh, that way if your discount ever changes, you don't need to worry about changing it, you're always marking on their cost. Okay, the th Last one here is products. So you'll see you've got uh, three options, all selected or none. So selecting all will mean that they're all selected. Otherwise you can select which ones you, you what items you use from each supplier. Uh, this is particularly um, valuable, for instance, uh, map boards. You may only buy map boards off one supplier. If you have map boards tick for every supplier that you have there and they all sell map boards, doing a search for black map boards means you will get every single black black mat board from every supplier but if you only have that mat board ticked from the supplier that you use and all the other ones unticked then you'll only get black mat boards from the supplier that you purchase off okay so you just click save for any for those to take effect okay so the last part is to create your own supplier so down towards the bottom you'll see add your own supplier so we'll just click on that in here, uh, let's just say you will put a glass company. You may order your two mil clear float from a local glass company rather than through a, one of your other suppliers. Again, just fill in any of those details that we discussed previously, click save, and then you'll see that you now have glass company. So make sure you just tick it to make sure you do have it switched on. And that's all there is to making um, a new supplier or adding a supplier. Uh, later, further on, we'll discuss imports where you can import files to your new suppliers. Okay, that's it for now.